Hey everyone, TA with another video for you today, and welcome to day one of Artist Holiday World. Uh, I've been working on this project for over a month now. Uh, I started this back in what the beginning of November. I sent invitations at the beginning of November, and then a <laughs> lot happened. But that's for a later video. Today, I'm having Aaron Visuals as a guest collaboration in my channel. We are going to do a little edit battle. It's not it's nothing serious. Uh, we both decided on a subject for our themed winter piece, winter themed piece. Uh, our subject is, is the wolf, as you can see by the thumbnail. And one thing I want to do across three videos on this holiday season uh, week on my channel is talk about my past, my present, and my future. So, since Aaron is one of my oldest friends at, uh, on the Instagram spectrum, uh, I decided that his video was going to be the one where we talk about my past and our past as like uh, friends and artists on Instagram. So, let's jump into it. Oh, I met Aaron, uh, I think it was like just after I started uh, being a digital artist on Instagram, I've done I've been doing digital art for two years and two three months now. Uh, I started September 2018, and I think I met him. It must have been either December that year, or it was uh, January the the year after. Being an artist on Instagram is uh, on, on not only on Instagram but on any platform uh, where there's a comparison uh, between like followers, likes, engagement, all that. It's a struggle when you don't have a lot of other things to do. So this year we had COVID, right? And I've been struggling since the beginning of the year. I've been very open about this. Uh, I've been struggling with seeing the purpose on what I'm doing. I've recently came across what I think it's my purpose, but for a few months and for now, like probably a year, I've been really struggling to find like a reason why I want to do what I do. So I know I love Art. I've I studied art. I've been on like artistic uh, paths since I was 12. Uh, I've done music. I've done a lot of things, um, and that really wasn't my question. My question was, why do I deserve a community? Why do I deserve a platform? Why does anyone deserve that? And. I've had this conversation with Aaron before. I've talked to him about what he thinks in like in the community aspect of things. And we've dealt with a lot of people um, as like a lot of other artists, I mean. And one thing that we've recently talked about was like people that do this for the wrong reasons and end up, in my opinion, uh, I'm not talking for Aaron, this is my opinion, some people do this for the wrong reasons and probably don't really deserve the platforms they have. And I didn't want to be one of those people. So I've been searching, it's been a long, long process. When you create on like a social platform, it doesn't mean like Instagram, just like any social platform, be it like ArtStation, be it uh, DeviantArt, be it other, any other platform, um, you will end up like criticizing yourself in comparison, in comparison to other people. And one thing I've noticed, and this is probably the main reason why I wanted to talk about past, present, and future, one thing I've noticed is I've done a lot of comparison to people that start and rise to the top very fast. Um, I was never uh, that person. Uh, I had a fashion blog for a, for a few years and 
I ended up being successful at that, but I was never that person that joined the fashion blog industry and became famous, quote unquote famous, in like two seconds. I was never the person that, like, I idolize, idolize, idolize a lot. The I romanticize. That's the word. I romanticize a lot the idea of like going to a, a TV show and doing an audition and that like kind of starts your career as a musician like a lot of the um, tw- like early 2000s uh, themed uh, movies maybe even like the late 90s movies where the the kid had a dream and he became successful and it like you know that so I noticed that I was doing that a lot. Like I was comparing comparing myself to people that joined the community, rise really fast, and then didn't really do anything with their community. And I I would say to myself like, wait, but am I not a good enough? Am I uh, not providing good quality? Is my content empty? And I would end up even sometimes I, I like I know I was guilty of this. Like sometimes I would say, oh, but that person's content is not as good as my content. And that's not the case. Like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where my content is. It doesn't matter where your content is. It doesn't matter where Aaron's content is. What matters is that you have a voice and people see it and people relate to that. And I was kind of forgetting my voice. I was more focused on the why does my quality, doesn't my quality deserve the recognition some other people have have gotten. And the, the truth is, I got recognition. The problem is when you get it, you don't see it <laughs> until you stop to look at it and, and be like, oh, God damn it. Like, it's there. It's not just the number. And I think uh, the problem here is eventually everyone ends up in the trap of social media numbers because we are marching to this society norm where kids have followers, where like your mom has followers your aunt has followers your brother has followers and people are starting to not see friends as friends like i remember when i joined social media you would add friends now you follow people um you would be like uh someone that wanted to see what your friends were doing now you want to follow what your influencer is doing and it's been a big journey but not a long journey like it's been two years two years is not a long time at all so if i wanted to give you a little like reason for this video is or like moral to the video is see my journey and see aaron's journey we started roughly at the same time. We've grown a lot as human beings and as artists. And I would say Aaron has built an amazing community for for his artwork. And I am building my community for my artwork. And the thing is, none of us stopped for any reason. We both heard before, like, oh, your content is not good enough. Your quality is not good enough. You're doing stuff that is not art. And if you are starting now, know this. People will tell you what you're doing is not enough. People will be jealous of what you're doing and tell you you suck. And people will get stuff that you want. The key is don't stop keep going if you really have a passion for this keep going find your voice and you will eventually grow your own community your own friends you'll meet the people that you now quote unquote follow you will be the person that other people want to see work so 
let me know in the comments what you think about this. If you ever struggled with comparing yourself to other artists, if you ever struggled with not feeling enough because of what you see other artists achieve, let me know if you want me to talk more about this. I I know a lot of people have struggled with this because I've talked to, to a lot of you in, in DMs about it, but I don't know. Let's open the conversation. Let's talk publicly about this because that needs to be more public talk about this topic in my opinion but yeah let me know in the comments also who won this competition this little added battle because you know like we're still comparing ourselves but in a very healthy way so if you like our pieces go over to our instagrams we posted it today go drop a like on both pieces hopefully follow aaron for more content like this and follow me for more content like this. Tomorrow, my invited guest is Tablo. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about my present, where I am right now, where my perspectives are for the present. And the day after, I'm gonna be talking about my future and be working on a cyberpunkish theme with a thin line between. So if you like that idea of talking present future on my next two videos, Drop a subscribe and leave a like. Let me know what you thought about this video. And I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.